Good morning, Olavo. Is that how you say your name? Apologize if I butchered that. I realize I've never asked. Olavo Staros. Are you Greek? Hi again. Olavo. Olav is a Nordic name. The Latin suffix, staros is Greek, but you're Brazilian. Nice. I think I submitted um, my Melange JS talk uh, to JS Brazil, which would be dope if I got accepted. I would love to go to Brazil. I really want to go to Brazil for uh, the F1 race. We got a lot of drama about that. What kind of drama? When Triangle Company merch? Uh, I got a care package shipped to me yesterday, uh, Nix. So uh, we'll be we'll be shilling here before before long. Wow, I slurred my speech there real bad. All right, uh, Nix. While I got you. Um, I want to show you something I did with my Nix config and I want you to tell me, um, that I did something terrible, but it works. <clears throat> so I was having issues, uh, getting my NeoVim, uh, config to be managed by Nix while also managing it with Glazy and Vim and all my custom Lua. So what was happening was when I would build, I was trying to do what BG said and basically build my config as a custom plugin. And it wasn't copying or sim linking. Ah, shit. I got a dog getting dropped off at my front door right now. Um, one sec. Okay, I got a quick second. It wasn't sim linking or copying anything except for my init Lua file uh, to my home directory. So what I ended up doing was, I'll just let you see this before the dog gets to the front door. Uh, where is it? Right here. I like Lazy Vim a lot. All right, I'll be right back, chat. This might take me like four or five minutes to get the dog acclimated and my dogs come down so uh just hodl for a second
All right, we are back. Okay, yeah, so the thing I ended up doing was this, and then I have a config directory. Uh, up in here, and this is where all my stuff is. What is the, the reviewer feedback on this situation? Because it works, and it seems to work well. Oh my god, that was my first sip of coffee. I've been doing chores around the house all morning. Trying to wait for that dog to get here before I started streaming. I want to look up what this actually does. Nix make out of store sim link. It like doesn't feel like someone gave me the feedback that it's not the next way to solve it, but like I tried for several days to do this in a different way and um, Ah, Siren. Siren was one of the people helping me. Couldn't find the linking either. Yeah, and like when I when I try to build it as a plugin siren. I get an error saying that Lua can't find it when it is required. So it's like when it gets built into the store, because I can find the actual Lua plugin in my store, Lua just can't resolve it for some reason. And I tried digging through some of the uh, NeoVim uh, package source code and like nothing really stuck out to me. I don't know. We're going to put this all to a run here in a week or two when I get my new work computer. All right, there we go. Thank you, Lavo. Super appreciate that. Very excited about uh, starting the new gig. I really, uh, I really enjoyed the past year and a half at Scalum and getting to write O'Campbell full time, but uh, you know, sometimes startups don't make it, and we unfortunately didn't make it. So, configuring your config. <laughs> Listen, we're going back to the parser right now. We're back. We're already out of the config. Okay, so um, what up TC4V? I want to tweet this out. We we're supposed to live stream with uh, Leandro this morning, but uh, I have contractors showing up and they gave me a time window between 9 and 11, which is a giant time window. So I didn't want to like just get started programming with Leo and then have contractors show up and have to stop it. So uh, we're going to do that maybe tomorrow. Um, but another day nonetheless. My theory is that the config gets passed only on startup. I find my plugin and then look up path. So it finds your plugin though, and does it sim link to the plugin in your store? Yeah, I'll bring it back up again. So with my NeoVim config, I have all my NeoVim config in this path down here, right? So it's in Kitsark, Nits, config, and Vim. 
And the way I'm doing it right now is using make out of store symlink. Um, basically this block and everything works perfectly. Well, what I was doing before was, um, yeah, right there, uh, this block of code here, right? I was trying to build all of my config as a Vim plugin. And then I was trying to require my Vim plugin uh, in this attributes. Home dot file. Oh, so we're doing the same exact thing. Or no. Let me try doing that same thing. Good morning, Angel. I just don't do the use Z nowadays. So you do this. What does make out of store symlink do? Bro, you gotta try the camel score I added once it lands on preview today. I just have everything so perfect in my NeoVim setup that I don't have a desire. And like I can, I know in my NeoVim config, I can quickly touch my settings to get any experience I want. All right, let me, um. I'm rendering in ghosty. Uh, I'm not excited about the Vision Pro. All right, we're gonna put this in the back burner because I actually wanna work on uh, my Lexer here. Yo, can you link me to that PR, Nix? I would love to look at the, the PR. Um, are you adding Reason ML support? Could I... Um, could I bribe you to update and maintain the reason ML tree sitter grammar? <laughs> Literally, I will I will pay somebody 200 American dollars. I'll Venmo you on completion and getting it into freaking tree sitter. I just want reason ML to be supported well. I got a bounty on it. Okay, so I think there's a chance that our read identifier might have a bug. I'm trying to, I thought about this in bed last night and now I can't remember what it is. It has something to do with take while. Oh, no, we're right. All right, everyone, let's review Nix's code here. Here we go, it's code review time. Oh, we're merged. Can I follow you from here? No, I can't. Morning, Diva. All 
I do have an appreciation for rest. Winnie. No, you be nice. Winnie is drugged up as all hell right now. Winnie, be nice. Sir, I see you. You don't need to be crawling up on me. Winnie, go get your puppy. Go get it. Uh, Winnie has, um, like, acid. I'm not sure if it's acid. Stop it, ma'am. Hey, go lay down. Murph. Go lay down. No. Winnie. Good boy, Bodie. No, Murph. Down. No. So this golden right here, this is Murph. This is one of the dogs we watch for our neighbors. Murph was with us last week, and this fucking madman, the night before he came over, uh, ate six chicken breasts off his parents' counter and had a horrible, horrible tummy ache for like 24 hours. Yeah, Murph is giant. Murph is a very big golden. Let me see if I can get him. Here, come here, Murph. Come up, up. Oh God, buddy. <laughs> up. Oh, I see you. I see you. I know, you're so big. You're excited. We're excited. We're jumping, we're spinning. I know. I know. <laughs> Bodie, I see you. I know. Oh, this has turned into a dog stream now. Winnie, calm yourself. Don't be a bitch. Hey, hey. no, sir. All right, we're done. Relax. Happy doggo stream. Although Winnie, as I was saying, Winnie can kind of be a bitch. She's, she's my favorite. She's been with me since she was eight weeks old. Come here, honey. Come here. I'm gonna grab you. Show you the stream. I've had her since she was a little puppers. And uh, she's the matriarch of the, the house and she's a little uh, protective, but she warms up the other dogs after a little bit. She's not mean, she doesn't bite or anything. She just likes her space. And uh, Winnie has Winnie has either like a loose flap in her throat or acid reflux that flares up sometimes. And she, when that happens, she feels like she has problems swallowing. And much like me, Winnie is incredibly anxious. So when that happens, uh, she panics and we have to give her trazodone, which is a like tranquilizer. And she's such a strong-headed animal that she can champ through trazodone. And I generally have to, like, sit on the floor with her for, like, hours to help keep her calm. But uh, she's doing a lot better this morning than she was last night. I missed streaming with CM Griffin last night because I had to sit on the floor and keep her calm for, like, three or four hours. But she seems to be doing good this morning. So you doing good? But yeah, this this one's, she's she's my baby. She's got me through some rough times. The other white golden we just adopted or rescued um, a year and a half ago. And then the tiny dog that looks like it caused COVID. Come here, Baxter. You wanna go on camera? This guy right here, this is Baxter, the creature that looks like it could have caused COVID. Uh, he and I have a love-hate relationship. He's been a good boy recently. Um, but for a long time, he loved shitting in the house. And I hated him for that. But we are on much better terms. He's been good the past eight months. And Bodie, I know you don't let me pick you up, but you want to come on camera? Come here. Yeah. Good boy. And this is Bodie. He's a therapy dog. So he goes to hospitals and hospice and elementary schools and helps make people feel better because he's a big derpy love. So yeah, see so you good boy. See so you good boys. I see you too, Murph. You're just big and 
The two boys, Murph and Bodie, are the most smooth brain animals I've ever met in my entire life. They're so loving and goofy, but they are dumb as fuck. No offense, guys. I love you, but you guys are really dumb. I should show you, I wonder if I can switch my camera to my phone. Bodie has a, uh, a certificate for completing therapy and we have it mounted above his dog bed on the wall and it's adorable. Let me see if I can switch. Cause this would be pretty funny to show you guys. Let's see if we can get this. I might lose you guys. I don't know if that works. How do I go live? Is it on? Failed the broadcast. I don't know how to switch. Hold on, we're gonna figure this out. I'm now determined. I've seen other streamers switch their camera to their a different device midstream. Yeah. <laughs> Baxter be good or you're gonna be dog food? Dude, that dog has Napoleon syndrome. All right, let's see here. Can I, I click start stream. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If I turn off this, can I do it? Okay. Oh, damn it. I thought it just went live. Hold on. One more. Let me try one more thing. Nope, it's not working. Whatever. I'll post pictures in Discord or we'll figure it out another time. Great stream quality improve. <laughs> so that's my pups at the very least. Zed sending free merch for contributors, noise. How much of this is, are these like SCM files auto-generated? Murph, no, go lay down. Go lay down, sir. None of this is auto-generated. I mean, I feel like Rust looks a lot like OCaml. That's why I think I, um, please don't look at OCaml.rs. Where is OCaml? There it is. Oh, let's go. So we have a basically uh, opaque struct of some kind, it appears. And we're implementing a trait LSP adapter, so I'm sure that is just like an interface. What up, Leo? You bought a new domain today? What was it?
It ends with ML. We'll share as soon as the first deploy works. Hell yeah. So I feel like the only thing I need to learn with Rust is essentially dealing with the borrow checker. Like everything else here is super readable and like looks exactly like OCaml. Murph, go lay down. No. She's the best. Fix me up from LAX. Oh boy. Listen, I, you know, I think this is readable. I don't think this is the worst. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I dig it. And now you can say you were the one that added O'Campbell support to Zed. All right, sorry for the flashbang chat. All right, I think the next thing we wanna write, uh, let me pull up our book here. Why can't I, does anyone see this? This is so annoying. Um, here we go. We're kind of reading two at once. Um, so the main book we're reading is um, Essentials of Compilation. And then we're also kind of in the background reading, uh, writing an interpreter in Go. Um, our Discord is doing a like little book group and we're reading Essentials of Compilation and it basically walks through like writing compilers, but it starts at um, it starts at giving you an AST rather than lexing and parsing. And I wanted to learn how to write a lexer and parser too. Um, go lay down, sir. So the essentials of compilation is in Racket, but I'm doing it in OCaml and writing an interpreter in Go is obviously in Go, but I'm also translating that to OCaml. Murph, you need to lay down, bud. What up, Glitchbite? How was stream? What were you working on? Ranting? What were you ranting about? Baby, it's the best. So I'm gonna write a test for our uh, identifier. So we have these. Um, variables or identifiers in our little rint language that we wrote. So here's rint. This is the whole programming language right here. Um, we have these variables that look like, where are we at? Maybe that wasn't variables. Let me pull up the book again. Yeah, Main Street is going big on Rust. I read that article the other day. Oh, Priv, are you still in here? Or was Priv in here earlier? I think I owe Priv an article from like two weeks ago. Found an article called Rust Won't Save Us, was all about security issues. The too long didn't read was um, Russ won't save us, but it's philosophy. So it's from ourselves. Yep. Um, what's your take on the article glitch bite? Like I said, I don't know, um, a ton of rust, but I can read rust, but I don't have very strong opinions formed on rust. You're legally not allowed to laugh at this. Oh boy. <laughs> Nobody clipped that. Oh, that's hilarious. Just lost my, yeah, they just, uh, they are actively rescinding my offer right now as we speak. 
Rip job, 22, yeah. Wednesday, February 6th to Wednesday, February 7th. I'll put that on my CV is that I held a job for less than 24 hours. Good, good. I'll just blame you then. Rust was made to save us from memory bones, but a lot of issues in security are from insecure exposed functions. And when you say insecure exposed functions, I guess I should just pull up the article, huh? Oh, Leo, the one thing, I know I kind of alluded to it on Twitter. I started talking to Dave a little bit about it. I think we can take um, bits and pieces of what Dave has done with um, native um, React server rendering and RSCs in OCaml. And I think we can use what you're doing with Sidewinder um, and essentially stream React components um, using a combination of the, um, there's a function and it, they're calling like the component streaming React, uh, React Flight Server or something like that. And there's a function in React Flight Server called create from fetch. And I think we could adapt that to hook up to a WebSocket and then potentially use that API, which is use external sync store. And uh, we could write like a Sidewinder component that basically subscribed to a store, which the store then connected to Riot and Sidewinder. And you could subscribe to specific events and the events would be like basically a, a completed stream of a component and then we could update the DOM. So like, that's like the, the idea in my head right now. <laughs> okay, so I wanna go back to our book quick. Okay, so this is just the, we don't have to worry about parsing this back tick. That's the uh, denotation in racket. That's how they're doing their variants, basically. Okay. So theoretically, I wonder what happens if we try to parse like this guy right here just for shits and giggles. Like first request is just server render, then there's a socket over, we stream diffs. So yeah, where I think where I deviate from what you're doing right now is like leaning into React rather than a custom implementation. Wow, Hmita, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I super appreciate you. Dang. Merv. Merv. No. Get back, bud. But if you wanted to, um, if you wanted to use, you probably already know this by looking at like Dave's stuff and the React code, but there is a um, render to string function that can take JSX and just compile it straight to JavaScript. Um, that's actually how they server render stuff. And then they call hydrate root on the front end and that's what attaches all the uh, event handlers. But um, Jesus, oh my gosh, it's Mita. I don't even know what to say. Jesus, thank you so much. Holy crap. Murph, go lay down, bud. You don't need attention at all times. 
แจ้งยูมาจินอิฟไนท์เชดจัสวอนอะคีย์บอร์ดอัฟเตอร์เดตอะไรสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอร์เรดดิ้งดัตฟูลสตริงสุดแล้วจัมป์ดาวน์เฮียร์แอนด์แล้วสัดเทสต์ฟอ
with none sum. This will be a token. And we'll say um, loop advanced lexer and token tokens. And let's wrap that in parens. In fact, we can just skip that line. And then we say loop make input and an empty list. Now this should return us string token T list. Yeah, great. So now we can drive our iteration of the lexer via the lexer itself rather than um, die for a panini right now. Yo, a breakfast panini sounds real good. Like mash up like huevos rancheros with a panini. And I would, oh, dude, that sounds so good. I make homemade huevos rancheros all the time for breakfast. Murph, go lay down, sir. No, you go lay down. Like, get like a... Get like a, a, a dippy egg or like an egg over medium, some chorizo, some avocado, some freaking Monterey Jack cheese. Oh my God. When you cooking for your stream friends, I could do a cooking stream. I probably will do a cooking stream at some point. I just gotta think about what I wanna cook. That would be fun to do on stream. Cause I love cooking. Let me pull up my Instagram real quick. I have like a whole story of all my cooking on Instagram. I know those are not huevos rancheros. I was just, uh, I was just spitballing there. Uh, let's see here, profile. Where's my cooking? I love cooking uh dude soup i haven't made a good bean soup in a while bacon wrapped asparagus gluten-free salmon burgers mm, salmon burgers slap french onion soup i'm soon making that i have a bunch of frozen vegetables for vegetable stock in my freezer that i soon need to go make the stock for This is what my breakfast generally looks like, minus the French press now. Caribbean jerk pork chops. Oh man, I haven't made some of this stuff for so long. Okay, also chat, this red wine right here is my favorite wine in the freaking world. I love Francis Capala. That's a great picture right there. Black and salmon. Oh, I made a giant ass salad. Made some tacos. Oh, tacos sounds so good right now. Pasta a la checa. That's really good and really easy. I forget, this was like some Thai dish. I forget what it was. Panini. Oh, pork and sauerkraut? Let's go. I'm sure many of you have no idea about pork and sauerkraut unless you're from like Germany or Belgium or Pennsylvania. You're from PA, Panini? 
Let's go. Where are you? I mean, you don't have to dox yourself, but I grew up in uh, York, Pennsylvania. From Northeast PA? Oh, dude, I went to college. I went to college in Mansfield, Pennsylvania. I'm dead ass serious, dude. You're a Mansfield grad? Shut up. There's no shot you and I went to the same college. Chat, I cannot explain to you how tiny Mansfield is. This is like the tiniest state school in Pennsylvania. Like middle of nowhere. Of course you were a music major hanging up on the hill in Butler. Get out of here. So Mansfield is like way up here in the middle of freaking nowhere. We have one stoplight in town. How did this happen, Panini? What year did you graduate? When were you there? I was set to graduate 2012, but didn't finish. Okay. Did you, um, 2008, did you know Evan Parker and Scott Wheeland? You graduated in 2015? Wait, do we know each other? I graduated in 2015. Well, I mean, obviously we don't know each other because you would have recognized me, but we graduated from the same university. <laughs> oh, you finished your last class online. Oh, chat, this is so funny. Mansfield is such a tiny ass town. Like it is the smallest stupid college town. You know Evan and Scott? That's amazing. I am very, very close with Evan Parker. This is our little main street. This is the one stoplight in town. You were in the snare line? Oh my fucking God. So you know them well. <laughs> so this was Mark's brothers. This bar was the fucking bee's knees. I turned 21 here. It burned down to the ground. Uh, so it's gone now. But my college apartment was right here. 27 College Ave. I have actually that might even be me in that blue. That's my old car right there. Ha! Huh, that might be me. But this is where all the fucking parties were. Let's see here. No, that's Michael and Carl. I've drank so many fucking beers on this roof. We had a dope ass basement for parties. And then the college is up here. Built on this stupid fucking hill. The old frat, old Lambda Kai house right here. In fact, I think I'm in this somewhere. Yeah, it's on a giant, there's a hill on campus called Cardiac Hill. Uh, and the freshman parking lot is at the very top of that hill. And I think it's hilarious. I think I'm in... If we come over here, yeah, here we are. That's me, right there. That's my buddy Beckley. That's my buddy John Willis. That's my buddy John Heise. Yeah, yeah, I was in Alpha Kappa Lambda Panini. But yeah, dude, that's so wild that we fucking went to Mansfield. Nobody goes to Mansfield. I cannot, I just cannot explain to chat how unlikely it is to run into someone randomly anywhere in the world that went to Mansfield University. <laughs> Do Panini Parker in classic Parker fashion has the most ridiculous job in the world. So he went into the Navy and ended up with tons, tons of crazy, uh, jobs in the Navy. He ended up winning the top videographer in all of the DOD and got to go to like a gala in DC. But he was getting ready to leave 
the Navy this year and he was stationed out in uh, California. And they were like, we've invested a ton of money and time in you. You're, you know, you've done a lot of filming in Ukraine and with special forces, we want to keep you. Um, and so like for background chat, Parker is like, you could drop this kid, well, this guy in any bar in the world, whether he spoke the language or not, and he would become the center of attention and best friends with everyone. He's gotten me out of so many underages and sketchy situations with cops. Like he's just the most ridiculous things happen to him. It's just like, this is one of them. So he's in the Navy. He's there. He does videographer. He's very talented at it. He's getting ready to leave the military this year. And they're like, how can we keep you? Can we send you back to Germany? Do you want to go back to Japan? Like, how can we keep you in the Navy? And Parker's like, well, no, I'm in like a long term relationship with a girl in California. I, I kind of want to be done and like go do Nat Geo or something. Um, and the military was like, well, we have a one of one position opening up in California. The former person who held this position held it for like, you know, some absurd amount of years. And for Parker to get this one of one position in the United States Navy, it had to get ran up to the White House to the uh, Security Council where the Admiral of Public Affairs sits. The, the Admiral of Public Affairs had to sign off on this. So he freaking has a one of one position where he is the official liaison to Hollywood for the United States Navy. So if you see any sort of Navy, Navy shit in like a movie from Hollywood, like he was the one that fucking is on the phone with like directors and movie studios and on set like it's the mo he has to be in like dress blues like twice a year he gets to work from home he has to go down to hollywood in la like once a month it's the most ridiculous gig in the freaking world ah uh, that's so funny panini i i still can't believe this mind boggled right now I, yeah, I have to tell Justine. Justine went to Mansfield, too. All right, let's get through looking at the rest of this food. Oh, cinnamon burnt ends. Chat, what do you want to see me cook on stream at some point? Because I think that would be fun. Because I, I love cooking like I love programming. Yo, the Crunchwrap Supremes are super easy to make. They take like 15 minutes and they are amazing. So good. They're regular. We do them like once or... I haven't made kimchi yet, but it's uh, it's on the... It's something I want to make. Yo, Dutch Baby was delicious. Highly recommend. That's like a great breakfast food. Cool. All right. Sorry for getting distracted here, everyone. Justine might be home. I might have to tell. Yeah, that was my Insta. That's all right, Panini. Everyone that was up at Butler was snobs. Telling you Butler was like a freaking high school. The amount of drama that happened up there. Justine, come here right now. The most ridiculous thing in the world just happened. What? The most ridiculous thing in the world just happened. So, someone on my stream, their handle is Time Panini. They started following me the other day when I was... Whenever I did that long weekend stream. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Winnie. Enough. No bark. Murphy, calm down. Okay. Okay, so this person, Time Panini, they started following me on Bodie. Enough, dude. Come here, Bodes. Bodie, come. Come here. Hold on, chat. Sorry. Oh my god. 
Okay, okay, all right, all right. Everybody out, out. All right, so they followed me, they found my stream, followed me out of the blue. Uh, they came when I was doing my, like, uh, Neovim video. This was like a week, two weeks ago, whenever it was. Okay. This morning, I'm here, and I was talking about cooking, and somehow Mansfield came up. Or no, I said I was from Pennsylvania because I, um, had the pork and sauerkraut. And Panini was like, oh, I'm from PA. And I was like, oh, I grew up in New York. And Panini was like, oh, I grew up from Scran. And I was like, oh, I went to Mansfield University. Like, I know Scran. They went to Mansfield University and knew Scott and Parker. What the heck? Isn't that wild? I'm so sorry. So funny. Such a small world. That's like, hilarious. what is the odds of that? I have no idea. I'm wearing Astronomical. a Mansfield yeah, look at frat that. shirt. Mansfield frat shirt. She's wearing it. <laughs> My spin class this morning was a frat party themed. Dylan, it was hilarious. They handed out shots of um, Odyssey energy, like, drinks. Yeah. Middle of class. There's a video of it. That's funny. But, um, yeah, it was so funny. Uh, I, did you feed them this morning? No, I would give them very little food. Yeah, since like you gave them double dinner. Yeah, I accidentally gave the dog second dinner last night. What do you have? Because I didn't think Justine fed them yet. Wow, okay, what an adventure this morning. That's the craziest shit that's ever happened to me on stream. By far. My boy. What did you get to see? Um, so let's take our input here and throw that there. <laughs> Boats. Murphy's going crazy. I know I'm gonna get you back, guys. Yeah, sure, Panini. Uh, if you're in our um, if you're in our Discord, just shoot me a DM. Oh hell yes. I love this already. I love it. I can't wait to uh, start jumping in more. You did, how to do static sites with CMA. I don't know if you would want to use Create Milan Jap for, well, I guess you could use Create Milan Jap to scaffold out a native OCaml app. You, would, you wouldn't want really any client side um, the launch components that compile to JS. You would want to do it all in native OCaml and just render static uh, HTML. I mean, I can work on that if you want. Like working on a good static story for um, like Riot and um, Jesus Christ. Jesus. Alright, I'm gonna shut my door because these dogs are being crazy. When you stand Bobby in. Is zooming. Bodhi has the zoomies. Man, I am just still like I like I, my mind's blown right now. Alright, I wanna listen to Let's listen to some frack and metallica, shall we? Um, do I want to try to build out the list of tokens for this? I guess we can, right? Let's say I expected just to get this out of the way. We'll say, uh, our paren, um, program, L paren, um, R paren. We're gonna. We're probably gonna need to figure way, figure out a way to parse that as a unit rather than parens, but that's not super important at this moment. Uh, 
We are second. Holland. Uh, yeah, I know Holland and Justin. I think I probably know the Justin you're talking about. That's so funny, dude. Nice. Yeah, I really like Holland. He's a nice guy. Or then it will be an int, right? Oh, it would be int int because we don't. Oh, we don't. So that would be an identifier. It'd be a bunch of identifiers. Right, okay, so this is highlighting some of our problems here. All right, let's... Um, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I'm getting ahead of myself. All right, let's run our tests. No, you're totally fine, dude. This is wild. Music is too low, I can't headbang. I'll, I'll bump it up a smidge. There we go. All right, so we did fail a test. And it's probably because we changed our Lex implementation. There we go. Fix that. Uh, yes, I did. Uh, Ander, or three Ander. I don't know how you want me to say your name. Um, okay. We want to um, write a peak function because I know we're going to need that. So let's write peak. Let peak lexer. Ender is fine from Ender's game. Gotcha. Okay, cool. In your head, exit light. Justin, do you know what time the contractors are getting here? So peak is going to take a lexer, right? And so we'll just say that's a T and it's going to return a um, char option, right? Because we could be at the end of input. So let's just say, um, We want to say we can advance our lexer. Um, so let's say advance, and we'll say lexer, and this is going to give us a um, advance returns us. What does advance return us? Our lexer. So we get our lexer back, right? And then we can say something like um, just lexer dot. CH, right? In fact, let's just do this the other way. Sure. So that should be peak, right? All right, I should stop winging this and just read the book, right? All right, let's make this there. Let's zoom in a little bit.
All right, we're past this. Um, curious how they're using illegal because I'm not using a illegal anywhere again yet. So this book right here is writing an interpreter and go. I'll uh, put a link. This is by Thorsten Ball. It's very, very good. The other book that this is kind of we're reading uh, for is um, Essentials of Compilation, which is the book we're um, doing a discussion. The, the second link is um, the like book club book that we're doing in our Discord, which feel free to jump into Discord. It's in the Reading Rainbow channel. We meet every Sunday at... Um, we do one chapter a week, and we're aiming at doing Sundays um, around 1 p.m. Eastern time. And uh, we, we only did chapter one yet, so. So their implementation of next token, they say, is it a letter? Um, they parse out the... Mm -hmm -hmm. So they default to, let's close this. In their next token, they just advance the lexer, or I just advance the lexer until the end of file. Or no, that doesn't even make sense. Yeah, what they say. Uh, can I do char two string? Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you what they say? <laughs> You're brutal today, Nightshade. In fact, we can probably go to token and make that. No, we'll keep it as a string. Okay. We did this. Nice, just got in my onboarding email to get my laptop ordered and set up in payroll and all that. Let's go chat. Man, I'm so excited for my new job. My new team is awesome. My old team was awesome at Scalum, but I'm very excited for my new team. I did get the offer. I signed it last night and everything is official, official. I'm gonna be starting the 25th or 26th, whichever one of those days is a Monday. So, yeah, yeah, it's public. I can talk about it. Uh, I work at Vercel, by the way. Or I will be working at Vercel in two weeks. Uh, what will I be doing? I'm going to be working on in the growth engineering uh, engineering org on the lifecycle team um, and kind of at a high level. Oh, actually, I'm getting to start sooner than I thought. I get to start on the 20th. Let's go. Hold on, I have to respond to an email quick. President's Day the 20th. 
the 20th works for me. I got everything. Let's go. Starting the 20th. I get to start a week sooner than I thought. Um, yeah, so I'll be on like the, the life cycle team, which is basically um, a lot of ownership around like the full end to end experience of using for sale. So like from account creation to account management, things like billing and payments, stuff like that. One of my uh, one of the people on my team is actually on the uh, Svelte Kit uh, core dev team, and he's awesome. Uh, my entire team is awesome, or at least everyone that interviewed me. Um, I'm I'm super excited. Wait, who else is at Vercel Panini? Oh, I was gonna say. Oh, Jason. I'm super close with Jason. Jason was like a mentor to me. I, uh, we both interned at State Farm and uh, I spent a lot of time with Jason. He's, um, yeah, he took me under his wing and he's, he's one of my favorite people. You live with Jason? I basically lived with Jason. We basically shared a roommate. <laughs> God, what a small world, dude. This is like the weirdest thing that's fucking ever happened to me. It's so, uh, my mind is just melted. Let's listen to some Dio now. We'll listen to Holy Diver. Yeah, Jason's great. Jason is like one of those people that is just so, so intelligent. And if you, um, like, I feel like Jason's one of those people that like, you have to earn his respect. But once you have it, he is such like a, he just goes above and beyond for the people he's friends with and rip, yeah. Dio, when Dio died, Leo, uh, he fell straight to the pits of hell and kicked Satan off the throne. Dio's fucking awesome. Yo, Nightshade, I will figure out how to let mods update uh, commands. All right, sorry, I keep getting distracted. Although I don't really mind getting distracted this morning. I'm excited about the new job and excited that I've freaking ran into a Mansfield grad that knows people I know on the internet. My sister is a bartender in a tiny ass small town in um, North Carolina called Greensboro. And she has this 78 year old regular that comes in that was uh, that went to Mansfield University and he was a SIGTA uh brother from like the freaking 50s or 60s i i've i've got a beer with him uh <laughs> before and he's got some freaking wild stories The early exit here, our return token statement is necessary because when calling read identifier, we call read char repeatedly and advance our read position, blah, blah, blah. The problem is the next token um, we want an a ident token with five in its literal field. Instead, we get an illegal token. Why is that? Because of the white space character between let and five. 
Okay, I think we already handle white space. Yeah, we do handle white, uh, white space. Do we really want... Yeah, I guess we do want white space in our next token, right? So let's say... Um, let advanced lexer um, equals skip white space lexer in. And then we say yanking word. Uh, we can just shadow, it doesn't really matter. Um, that's good, okay, great. So now we're skipping all our white space. So Panini and I basically shared a roommate too. Uh, I'm not gonna say their last name, but when I was at State Farm, there is a, a person from Mansfield named Jason who uh, now works at um, HashiCorp. Um, and I basically lived with him. He's from Mansfield. And I lived with him when we both interned at State Farm. It's so weird. I know, it's, it's, it's a fucking small world. My mind's like melting right now. Panini, how did you find this stream? Yeah, for real, Panini. How did you end up on stream? What is the story? An accident. <laughs> you know, that tracks. You know, going to Mansfield, usually an accident. Also an accident, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I was thinking that, Ryan. <laughs> He's outside our house right now. I'm going to get a message from Panini tonight at like 11 p.m. And it's just going to be like, you look really good when you think you're alone. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, wait, can I show you? Frat party, right? That's all your friends. That's all my friends. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> you up? <laughs> Penny, I will fight you. I don't go to the gym for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I wear that brand of underwear too. Does your dog follow your wife from room to room like R does? So the loyalty... Which one? <laughs> the loyalty between the dogs is... I don't know if you can see Winnie on stream. But Winnie, which is the girl golden that's tinier and is the normal color golden. Winnie, come here. She's my shadow. She's been with me since she was basically born. The COVID creature Back came here. with Justine to the relationship. He follows her around. And then Bodhi mostly sticks with her, but sometimes betrays her. It depends. Sometimes there's a good sunspot downstairs and... What up, Mohade? Hi. Little helper function is found in a lot of parsers. Sometimes it's called eat white space. Sometimes it's called consume white space and sometimes something entirely different. Mm -hmm. Which characters these functions actually skip depends on the language being Lex. Some language implementations do create tokens for new line characters, for example, and throw parsing errors if they're not at the correct place in the stream of tokens. We skip over new line characters to make the parsing step um, a little easier. I don't think the language is, I don't think our int, which is the language we wrote, uh, has any sort of white space or new line sensitivity, so that's okay. Lexer trips over the five in let equals five over test. Doesn't know yet know how to turn numbers into tokens. It's time to add this, great. So now we're gonna write, that makes sense. I use OBS. So let's go up and we have, I think we have an is digit function already. I think we just cribbed the is digit, yeah. So in our next token, we can come down and say, um, char when is um, digit, char. We probably need a read digit because a digit could be multiple characters, right? So let's go um, 
let's go write that. So it'll be let read um, digits. Uh, Lexer equals, uh, we will do let advanced Lexer and our char buffer And we will say take, man, this take while function I wrote is so useful. And we'll say while our next character is a digit, we will keep parsing that into our, our, our character buffer. And then when we get done, we'll return our lexer. And we will say token, um, in fact, we can open token, right? Let open token in, and we can say um, int, because our language is super simple, we just have ints. So int, and then it'll be buffer dot contents. Let's just do a little pipe chart buffer. In fact, let's do this on the line before. We'll say let uh, number or let's say let digit. A well, digit implies one. So let's say let number int, I don't know what to call this. It's going to be instr. There we go. It's going to be, um, geez, I got the sun right in my eyes again. I may actually stand up. I can't stand up. Can I? Yeah, I can. Yo, Panini, next time I'm coming through uh, northern Pennsylvania, we should like grab a beer or coffee or lunch or something. I have uh, I have friends in Bristol, New York. One of my best friends lives up, or Vestal. Yeah, Vestal, that I go and see relatively often. I would love to grab like a beer or coffee or something sometime. That'd be, that'd be fun. Oh, wait, you're in Atlanta now. Right, you said that. Disregard. Grew up 20 miles from Vessel. Nice. <laughs> Listen, you've got the right idea, right? Pennsylvanians and Northeasters that grew up there flee from it because it's horrible. Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania is probably one of the most beautiful states in the country, but it has some of the most depressing people and towns in the world. Uh, so we have our char buffer, and we're going to pass that into buffer.contents, and that's going to give us a string back, and then we're going to pipe that. I can't pipe into a constructor, can I? I feel that. So I guess we don't actually need to do that. We can just do the same line as before, right? We can just say, um, we say buffer dot contents char buffer. Yeah, we just do that. Three digits. Great. So that's super easy. Whoops. And we'll say read digits, lexer. So then let's write a test for that. The guy from regular car reviews taught me how bad PA is. Yeah, man, like, I don't know. PA might be for somebody with different views on the world than me, but I just don't jive with, uh, especially if you live outside of Philly or Pittsburgh, people just have, it's very much a monoculture and there's not a lot of jobs and industry. 
And um, yeah, just not, I love going there. Like I said, I think Penn State is, or Penn State. <laughs> I do love going to Penn State. Spent a lot of weekends I can't remember at Penn State. Um, but uh, Pennsylvania is beautiful, especially up in the mountains. Yep, PA Grand Canyon is beautiful. And for chat, uh, I actually have a hunting camp uh, up in um, Potter County. Pennsylvania Grand Canyon. So chat, this uh, was about like 20 to 30 minutes away from the university that Panini and I went to. It's just absolutely beautiful. Like this is what Pennsylvania looks like in the northern part of the state. Like, I love it. So much good hunting and fishing and outdoors. Especially, like, if you drive up through northern Pennsylvania in, like, the fall and the leaves are starting to turn colors. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure they are, Badger. Basically all just, like, the Rust Belt. It's kind of the same culture everywhere. All right, so let's write some tests for read digits. So it reads, um, let's just do a simple one. It reads uh, digits successfully. I never spell successfully right, so spell check. Oh, I did it. Look at me go, chat. Meta would be proud. <laughs> we'll say um, so let's run our test there alright what do we want to listen to now Just go back to my. Uh, I have one more hair metal song I want to listen to. I chat. I could have contractors showing up at like any moment, so if I randomly have to end stream, I apologize. Um, but hopefully, we're gonna keep going as long as we can here. Motley Crue and Poison was my first concert when I was like 13 years old. How's that for corrupting the youth? Actually, that was in Scranton, Panini. Ah, oh, Leo, I don't know if you're still here. We've got another Rush fan. I've seen Rush twice. Rush is probably the greatest sounding live concert I've been to. The fact that three people can make that music, unreal. Crafting, don't you mean teaching? Getty is the GOAT. Everyone in Rush is the GOAT. Or was the good, I should say. Rip. Rip, yep, exactly. Rip Neil. Probably one, probably, definitely like a top three, five drummer of all time. Neil Pert was amazing. And he was such a good dude, too. Okay, that passes. Um, let's make sure we can't parse um, a decimal. There's no decimals in the tiny little language we built, so let's just make sure. Um, so we should make this 69. What am I doing here?
Uh, so this should, what happens when we hit, we should just hit a six, right? It should just be in six. Oops. It reads, it does not read slash lex decimals slash floats. Great, okay, so that works. Uh, let's, we can now parse integers. As you can see, the added code closely mirrors the part concerned with reading identifiers and keywords. The read number method is exactly the same as read identifier, except for its usage of is digit, is digit instead of is letter, blah, blah, blah. Huh, I did that. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Because our tiny little language right now only supports integers. It's called rint. I think we have everything, right? So I think for our tiny language, we have basically everything implemented as far as lexing tokens go. I don't think I'm missing any sort of token. I don't know how to lex. I wonder if we hit character none, we should return end of file rather than none, and then we can stop returning a option. Does that make sense? Like here we would return um, EOF, and then we could get rid of this. And now we'll, rather than returning an option token, we always return a token in the lexer. I wonder if that makes sense. Uh, let me go look at uh, this implementation. Maybe he covers that here. We're gonna have to come back through this. Oh, we need to write a test for peak too. All right, we're not listening to this again. All right, we got because we were talking about rush. We gotta we gotta listen to a little bit of rush. Okay, we'll do uh. We'll do, we'll do both. The classic. Okay, so let's write a test for peak now. Let's grab that test suite. And, oh, we have a type error? Oh, right, because, right, we didn't finish talking about this particular problem. Let's just go back to what we were doing for now. And let me write a little to-do. Um, hopefully the book covers it. Consider returning token or lexer.t token.t 
instead of token T I will keep this as an option for now, but I kind of, I'm guessing we're going to end up returning EOF here. Like if you call next token on Alexa that's at the end, would you expect, if you continuously did it, would you expect to get EOF over and over and over again? Or would you expect to get EOF once as an option and then none, 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 none? So we want to write a test for peak. Uh, it should return the next uh, character. So let's say we have a B. All right, let's go back and do six nine. And we want to say we don't need to lex. We do need to make a lexer. So let's say let lexer equals make input in, and we'll say let peaked char equal to peak, and we'll pass in the lexer. We get a char option back. Great. And we'll say uh, expected would be sum uh, six. And then we'll say um, option dot equals peaked char char option. Isn't this a char option? There we go. Oh, we failed. Interesting. So we advanced the lexer. When we make a lexer, what happens? Do we start it? Ah, that's right. Yeah, okay, right. Um, then we should have a test for the case when we're at the end. Um, so we'll just say A, or we can do an empty, or we'll just say A. Great, there we go. So we got peak working.
Uh, the song is The Ghost of Billy Royalton by Dance Gavin Dance. <laughs> oh, that makes sense for when I see how we're using that now. Oh, we can make a REPL? I guess we can. <laughs> Wait. We never covered end of file. Okay, wait a second. This must have been covered and I missed it. Where does he do EOF? Yo, thank you for the raid, Dev Dad. Thank you, chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Super appreciate all of you. For my viewers, if you don't know Dev Dad, which I think the majority of you do and should at this point, uh, but Dev Dad is an incredible streamer who has been working on his uh, social uh, accountability hat for building good habits and breaking bad ones called him better. He is working on getting uh, his 1.0 release published to the app stores and currently at war with Apple. Um, so down with Apple. Um, yeah, I would encourage everyone to check out Embedder. It's really, really cool. It's really, really uh, a well thought out app and concept and Dev Dad's great. So definitely follow him if you don't. Bro, WebStorm was bouncing on the memory rev limiter today. May I have to try some NeoVim. If you have, uh, if you wanna, if you need any help or have any questions with NeoVim config or uh, you know, wanna jump just like in a Discord pairing session, I uh, am pretty free up until the 20th. So, uh, you know, just hit me up. What up, Delta? You can still use breakpoints, Dev. Uh, well, I guess you're using, you're potentially using like um, debuggers inside like the mobile app tooling rather than like if you're debugging node code, you can throw debuggers in um, your code and then open up uh, Chrome DevTools and Chrome DevTools can attach to your process and you can just use the Chrome um, like DevTools to debug node processes. And there's also, yeah, I don't use any of the debugging plugins, but it supports like the DAP protocol or whatever. The workflow I'm talking about where you use um, Chrome developer tools to connect to a node process, it's not rough at all. It's really, really smooth and easy. Um, actually, Bad Cop taught me how to do it because I thought it was confusing and hard to do for many, many years. And it turns out it's literally all you do is run your process like node, my app, and then you just do inspect and they'll spit out a link. Whoops, not inspect, but that'll spit out a link and you can go to Chrome inspect and um, it'll either be listed here or you can just like connect to your process and then just straight up have your code in Chrome developer tools and step through it. Like stupid easy. I don't know why I didn't learn how to do that much earlier. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Thanks, man. Have a great day. And like I said, if you uh, have any questions on NeoVim stuff or get stuck and want a pair or something, uh, just hit me up. What up, simple little name? My keyboard is a Keychron Q4. I still don't see where or when we added end of file to our next token function. Thank you for the follows, NFT scam and Wilder Hives. Uh, I need coffee if you're still around. I missed you earlier. Thank you for the follow. I super appreciate all of you. All right, here we go. Our default case is to return EOF. Okay, so yeah, we don't want to return an option. So let's do that. I think that makes more sense anyways. It's just kind of like item potent and we'll, if you keep calling it, you're just going to get end of file over and over again. And I think that makes sense of like a responsibility you could put on a caller to be like, yo, if you keep getting end of EOF, like stop calling it. So let's change this from returning a option. Thank you so much, NFT. I really appreciate that. So now this isn't a token opt anymore. This is a token. Um, and rather than matching on a option, we can match on the actual end of file or we can match on uh, just like a token, doesn't matter, anything. Good. That feels a lot better. Lexer skip second option value. We don't need that anymore. Great. That feels a lot better. Cool. Let's run our tests. This should work. I don't know why I want it. Yeah. Cool. It's the beauty of a camel. Like you got like a good 90% chance if your code compiles, it's just going to work. Let me go throw my mug on the charger and I'll be right back, chat. Uh, my dot files, I need to fix my command. Um, oh, it links to my video. I gotta, I gotta fix that. Um, let me grab you a link of where my most up-to-date dot files are and let me make sure they're also pushed. Okay, they're pushed, great. Um, it's gonna be your profile, uh, not dot files. I need to replace that. Config, nvim, here you go. Agda, some of the ideas in Agda are really cool. I'm really excited to play around with what Eduardo has been working on with Teka and uh, having dependent types built into a really friendly language that also will compile to JavaScript. All right, so now we hit end of file. I think our Lexer is like pretty much built. Can make like a you can write a little helper here like um, let current char uh, this will take a you can just like take char Yeah. 
and we can go down here in our peak and we can just pipe a uh, current char. So then we can also, um, we don't want all of this exposed to callers, so we can make a nice little interface file, right? And we'll come into our interface file and we'll say type T and be an opaque type. And then the only thing we really want to expose is next token. So we'll say val next uh, token is going to be a function that takes a T and returns a tuple where it is a T and a token dot T. Pretty straightforward. Right, we don't need to expose anything else in here. Great. Cool, I'm really happy with how this came out. This was a lot of fun to build. Building Lexers is actually like not as hard as I thought it was going to be. Like this is actually super approachable. Like just breaking it, I had a tweet about this, but just breaking the problem down into really, really tiny pieces um, yeah, breaking it down to really tiny pieces just makes it easy. It's like, oh, let's just worry about parsing a single character at a time and then just build up from there. Yeah, like this was super fun to write. And we're gonna build on it for the rest of the book. So I think now we get into writing a parser or at least a, I don't know if we need a REPL, but let's at least go read that, skim and scan that, that chapter. Uh, Bigu, what we're doing today is um, we are writing a lexer and parser um, to complement uh, the compiler we wrote for a book called The Essentials of Compilation. Um, so it, we were doing like a book club in our Discord, which feel free to join. We've only done one chapter so far, but we're reading Essentials of Compilation. And um, this book starts you with the abstract syntax tree rather than making you write parsers and lexers before getting into compilers. Um, so I also wanted to learn how to do lexers and parsers. Um, so to accompany the little compiler we wrote for um, chapter one, which this right here is the programming language for chapter one, it's called rint, very simple. All it has is ints and primitive expressions, which you can read an integer from standard in you can negate an integer or you can negate an expression or add an expression. So very, very simple language. Um, like the programs end up looking like this right here. Like that's the full programming language we built. Um, so we're writing a lexer and parser to parse that into an AST. One of the uh, people in our Discord made a really, really good video on making Pratt parsers. So let's jump back into our book. Um, I don't think we need a REPL. I don't think we need to worry about doing a REPL. I mean, maybe a REPL would actually be useful now that I think about it. Uh, let me go find the link. Um, I 
make sure I don't dox anything here. Actually, I'll just keep it off stream. Uh, Pratt. So there's the uh, the YouTube video. Uh, yeah, let's actually make a REPL. I think this would be kind of fun to do quick. So let's go in here and let's say REPL.ML. Save that. We'll go in here and uh, let's see here. I'm assuming that parsing is going to use the lexer and then the parser is going to have knowledge of semantics um, and basically take our tokens and build up an AST, a, cor a semantically correct AST from our tokens. That's, that's what I'm assuming the parser is going to do. So let's say uh, we'll have a function called run. Um, and that'll take a unit to start. I always forget how input and output channels work. Uh, base drain street, where are my docs? Right, we should open base. What? What are you talking about? Unbound module base. It's right there. We opened it. Are you building? Oh, okay, we're good. So we want our input and output channels. Oh, they use a uh, standard IO, don't they? Is that in base or is that, that's a separate library? STDIO. I'm gonna freaking sneeze. So we have standard in as a great. Okay, now let's open our out channel. So we should probably install that explicitly. Let's come down here and say std io. And let's do a dune install and opam install. Him. Yep. Great, it's probably already installed. So we can come into our Dune file here and add standard IO. And I should have harpooned that file. <laughs> So we should be able to just say, uh, let's see here, out channel dot output string to, uh, we might as well just open this, right? Do a local open and we'll say standard out 
pipe that into output string and I will take string and we'll say hello chat and that's going to return a unit that's probably not the last argument huh it's data first right All right, let's see if that works. So let's go to our binary and um, the hell is happening here? We're gonna say open EOC and then we're just gonna say uh, REPL What? Why is this unused? Shouldn't this be using bases? Am I reading this? Oh, it's standard IO. I'm dumb. There we go. Skill issues galore chat. So now we should be able to say, why can't I see REPL? Int module. Why do we have a nested? EOC is open, so we should have access to REPL.run. Unbound module EOC, why? All right, so there's our int. Uh, yeah, I have thought about, I'm thinking about, um, I'm thinking about buying a moon lander and swapping the, um, swapping the switches to what I use now. I like the idea <clears throat> of the thumb keys. Thank you for the follows. I uh, missed a bunch of people, but Sweet Boy Music, thank you. WX Life, Smirking Squiggly, Joe Kennel, Myrovich, thank you all for following. I really appreciate you guys choosing to spend your time here. So we do REPL 
Ah, right, because the library is, right, let's go do some organization here. So we're gonna have, let's just say compiler.ml, write that and we'll take our int, let's close this and delete everything out of here. Hit G and we'll go into the compiler, paste that in there. And then in our int, we're going to uh, delete this entire file and we'll say module REPL equals REPL, um, module lexer equals lexer, um, and module compiler equals uh, compiler. So those should all be exported now. In fact, we can probably just export the token too, like who cares? Yeah, I might hit you up, Badger. Let me uh, let me get my my new paychecks flowing and my uh, figure out what my budget's gonna look like, um, and we'll uh, we'll chat sometime next month. Oh, feel free, Panini. I'm okay with uh, um, I'm okay with buying a new one. Yeah, no, take it for sure. I'd probably rather buy a brand new one, anyone's, because of my like a like OCD. So, yeah, go for it, dude, for sure. So now we should be able to say Dune Exec Main. Sorry, I missed that chat. I didn't realize that. That didn't do what I thought it would. I would have expected to see this output. Got those geometric dollars coming. Yeah, but I've been living on that crypto money for the past year and a half, so I'm actually taking a bit of a pay cut. But that was, I knew that was going to happen regardless of where I went next if I didn't go to a crypto company, unless I got super duper lucky. I mean, it's not like, yeah, I'm still making way more than I probably deserve, um, but... Crypto companies are willing to pay a lot of money, generally speaking. Okay, well we have this print string. That's actually exactly what we want. Print string. Oh, it's because we because we didn't do anything in our freaking main function chat. We're, good Lord, EOC dot uh, rint. Wait, what the heck? How does that work? Sure, whatever, REPL dot run. There we go, hello chat. All right, we've got a baseline. I'm also at the point in my career where like I'm still making like what I should be for my tenure. Like I'm, I'm probably right around like the average for my tenure and experience. And I'm definitely at the point in my career where I don't need to focus. I'd rather focus on working with the people, problems, and companies I want to rather than maximizing income. Uh, 
I'm also fortunate that like I got my shit together as a 22 year old and like obsessed about personal finance and learned about like emergency funds and savings and stuff. So like I'm, I'm, I'm sitting pretty financially. So I'm fortunate that I can uh, take opportunities like this. All right, back to the book. <laughs> I would I used to be a DoD contractor. I worked for all of the three letter agencies. Fun fact, I uh my my claim to fame in the intelligence community, not that it's a real claim to fame, but I uh I built the first, built and published the first classification picker in React that got published to the intelligence community's high side or classified network like NPM repository. So for, uh, you know, a couple of, I bet it's still being used in a couple apps. Um, so I built a tool that basically let you generate and build a classification marker TS SCI NF. Show me, yeah, like generating stuff like this. So everyone has, every person at the DOD has like, um, uh, like basically a private key associated with them that's loaded into your PC and browser. And that can be used to look up from a certificate authority what permissions you have. And you can basically take those permission structs or tokens and build up classification markings like this. Really fun to build. All right. So now we want to write like some sort of loop, right? Um, you can bump this down. We can say that, and let's just return a unit out on this line. And then um, we want to say, let loop rec, whoops, head that backwards. equals, uh, I guess that just takes a unit potentially. How are we gonna decide to stop? We'll have a T. Yeah, okay, so this will be our input channel. And we'll say, um, Input line, here we go. Reads a line from T, returns it without the new line character at the end. And it's gonna return an option of a string.
Yeah, okay. We want to do input line. We'll say let um, value equals. And then we match on this, right? So this is gonna be a string option. If it's none, we want to basically like in channel, we want to exit, right? Just wanna return a unit probably. Otherwise we get some uh, value, we'll just shadow it and we'll just, um, we'll just make it like a tiny little echo server, right? Uh, let's do out channel dot print string value, right? And then we can say, uh, loop. Oh, we forgot to, we forgot to recurse. Duh that and then we say loop i guess that can take a unit right we don't even need the input So there should be a unit to a unit. Yeah, let's see if that works. Rip. At least I think. Okay, so it's never taking our standard in. We need to like wait for it in. All right, we're gonna ask OCaml Genie. Let's see here, let's say, um, give me a quick tutorial on using uh, Jane Street's standard IO input or in channel to read input from the uh, terminal. Yep, so we got that. It's 
This is like the exact, the exact thing we just did. That's not working at all. Oh, there we go. I have to press control D. How do we pressing control D caused it to output the correct message? Is it possible to use enter to send your Okay, I get it. Shut up. Okay, so let's try that. Some line when line equals string dot equal uh, line that we will return a unit. And then we'll just echo back out line. All right, so let's try that. All right. I go fix that because we deleted that function. And this is actually going to be run. Do an exec main. That didn't, oh, that did work. It wanted two enters though. That was weird. Uh, clear, do an exec main, foobar. Why did it want two enters?
Let's just um, let's say out channel dot print string. Uh, uh, let's have a mutable variable. So let's say let um, count is going to equal a uh, ref zero in, and we'll say um, loop iteration, and then we'll just go boom, and we'll say string event, or it's probably gonna be integer two string, int dot two string count, Throw that there, go to the beginning of the line, do that. So we just have to dereference it, right? Oh, that must be a postfix operator or something. And we probably have to wrap this. Isn't that how you dereference in OCaml? Or is it before? There we go, it's before. All right, let's try that now. Why don't we hit Why does, why do we block? Why do we not, hmm. We're like blocking standard out on waiting for standard in. Do we have to call flush? There we go. There we go. We just had the flush. Okay, so we can get rid of that. We can get rid of our ref. Uh, we can do this. Um, it's so weird that we have to flush every time.
do that. Okay, cool. I don't understand when we need to call flush. Flush standard out. Breaches. So it only display what's in the buffer after it reaches a new line. So maybe we don't need this if we actually, uh, does this have print new line? Print end line and then flushes. Man, I should just read the docs. Moral of the story is read the freaking manual. All right, so this should work. Great. So this is actually gonna be a uh, change in there. We'll say r int repl. Great. All right, back to our book. We took a nice little detour there. I'm actually gonna lower my desk again and go grab some water quick. I really need to set this to be automated. Here we go. Oh, my water's right here. Excellent. Uh, what are we working on? Um, well, we should be working on Mint T to uh, OCaml and Riot or create Melange app to Minty and Riot, but um, I have contractors showing up to do some work and they gave me a giant window, um, basically between nine and 11, which they should soon be here. Um, so instead we're working on building a Lexer, Parser, and REPL to go hand in hand with the compiler uh, we wrote for chapter one of the Essentials of Compilation which is our Discord's uh, book club book. Uh, we're on chapter one. We meet on Sundays at 1 p.m. Eastern time. So if you're interested, feel free to join in. Okay, this is super cool. So what we're gonna do is um, read in our line, right? So we get our line and we're going to make a new lexer. So we'll say uh, let lexer equals lexer.make. Oh wait, we forgot to expose make in our, um, <laughs> we forgot to expose make in our MLI file. So we'll say uh, val, make is going to take a string and return a T. Did my LSP just crash? What, what the F? Help, what is, what, what is happening? Let me make sure I don't have a runaway process. Whoops. Hmm. 
Sometimes OCaml LSP, um, I thought it would, I think it's fixed, but one of my coworkers who was in chat earlier, I think I saw Zach and I accidentally forgot to respond to their comment. Um, I found like a deadlock bug in the uh, OCaml compiler that was impacting the the LSP, but we look okay. Look at the Windows server just freaking 58%. I feel like that's a lot for a Windows server. There we go. All right, so that's good. We can jump back over here. Uh, now we should see make. Lexer does not. Whatever. Okay, so then in our book, they basically are just gonna, um, while we're getting tokens, so let's make another, um, let's make a little helper function. Let's say, um, actually we already have this written in our lexer, so let's go here. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Down here, there's this function called lex that I wrote that we can copy. And we can yoink that. Jump back over to our REPL, paste this in. And uh, let's see here. I think we can delete this outer loop. Do something like this, right? Um, let me say let open token in. This will be lexer.next token. Um, and we don't need to track our state because we'll just print it on each loop. So we'll say um, print tokens. So we get our lexer, we get the next token. We're not building up any sort of list, so we can return a unit. Um, and here, we just pass the lexer through, but we're going to say um, out channel dot print and line, and we'll do token to string, yeah. And we don't need this. This will be print tokens. Right, that makes sense for our loop. Good morning, Colchis. All right, so now we should be able to say, We do this and we say um, print tokens, lexer. Oh, right, this has to go above it. All right, are we feeling lucky that this is gonna work on the first try? How does this, what does this end up? Let's um, say, all 
we'll do like fmt dot uh, stir. Is that what it is? And we'll say um, our format string will be token. We'll say percent s, and we'll do that. And then that needs to go there. That goes there, and that goes there. All right, let's try that. Nice. Um, so let's try putting in one of our programs from the actual tests. Right, we should be able to parse a whole program now. Uh, it's in here. So let's grab, where are you? Didn't we write tests for like a full program? Did I accidentally delete some freaking tests? I might have. Uh, let's just go grab the input from, where would that be? We can grab that from the compiler. So let's grab that and just paste that in. Oh my God, chat, that's so cool. Tell me that's not so cool. Um, let's, um, let's go write a pretty printer for our token and we're gonna make this even nicer and then we're gonna tweet it. So let's say let PP, that'll take a formatter. Um, and then we'll take our token. Uh, and we'll say format dot print. Is it PF, like PF Changs? Oh, we got PPs coming out. Um, to string. So we want to probably copy this same thing. In fact, this can just be, throw that in there. This can be delete to there. This will be equals function. And um, these can turn into uh, change, this will be format.stir. And same deal there. I have like five McLaren hoodies now. My family went ham on buying me freaking McLaren merch for my birthday and Christmas. So now that we're here, right? <laughs> I wish I had a McLaren. Yeah, uh, Formula McLaren's my, uh, I'm a huge Formula One fan and McLaren's the, the team I really like.
So we'll say uh, format dot string, and it'll be percent um, token will be percent s, and then we'll say literal will be um, we percent s so let's take this again and we'll say um, paste and we'll say two string literal um, Actually, say add negate we can just write a um, we'll write a macro to do this. Okay, that looks, and then two string literal will be that, and then our pretty print will be a uh, token will be two string two string. I'm gonna need our token actually. So this would be token. Oh, actually, no, we don't. I can just say EOF. EOF. In fact, we don't need any of this. We don't need to match anymore. We can just grab our token and we delete that. And then we say format dot uh, I don't know which one I use here. Is it PF? PFF? Format dot PR? No, that's the standard out. Uh, S print? No. KPF? Is there an APF? So just stir. Yeah, there we go. Stir is what I wanted. FMT. Or is it just format? Format that, and then we'll say uh, token will be a percent s comma and then we'll say literal that'll be a percent s and then we say um, two string token yeah what is this upset about How do you write pretty printers? Hold on, I wanna go look at how TJ did this. I haven't written a lot of pretty printers, admittedly, somehow. Uh, let's look at his token, because I think he did this. Oh, he just used show. Format.formatter. Where is the PP function? Am I blind?
does show just derive a pp function? I bet it does, huh? How do I write a custom pp function using fmt? I can't find my pp, y'all. This is not good. Just use the wrong one there. There we go, chat. So then we can call pretty print back in our REPL, right? In here, we can come in here and we can be like, yo, what's up, dog? We can say token.pp token. Uh, we need to give it a, I think we say format that string or print. How do I give it a standard out? Format standard out. No, 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 this should be string. I just forgot parens. What? Are you not a formatter? Why doesn't this work? Can't wait for the contractors to come in while he's talking about his PP wall. I just need a string formatter. What is this playlist? Some of these songs get like too heavy and I don't like it. String F, stir F is the formatter. Oh, that's deprecated. Great. Give me the air. String. Ah. Will that flush the, will that flush standard out? <laughs> Print F format is the same as standard out. We probably still have to flush on our own then. But we can just include a, our own end line. So it'd be f print um, f. And it'll just be percent a. And then we say uh, token pp token. No. Percent boom. Out channel, we take the formatter. It's expecting an A. Why is it still expecting an A?
Do it like that. No, I will I will figure this out. Print F format takes a formatter is the same as Is this a formatter? No, it takes a formatter. So the formatter should be uh format.stringf And then we say percent a um, percent bang. This is so dumb. I'm so bad at understanding this. So let's see what this just gives us, right? I want to see what is the type of this thing. This should be a string, right? So now how do we translate that? Format string takes a, this type definition is so garbage. So this is the token. I don't know what that argument is. Explain this type definition. Format stuff. I don't know what A, B, C are. Oh, God, that's so annoying. A is the type of the parameters of the format for the formatted output. Great. B is the type of the input source for the formatter. I 
Why is printing so hard in OCaml? So what does this return? Let uh, underscore equals token dot pp token in. Okay, so right. Let's then copy this and underscore that and let's not return the rest of this. And what is the... Yeah, that's fine. We're gonna take a formatter. So our token.pp must be a formatter, right? So if we say token.pp, now we should take a T to a string. So given that we know some types now, we say token.pp, we should be able to say let underscore equals in, and this should be okay and just be like, this is a partial, why can't I, my LSP is like freaking up. Is this a formatter? Where are my types? I'm so confused. So we say percent A, But this is telling us printf is f print f. My LSP is really fucked up. Expression has type formatter T unit, but an expression was expected of type out channel A base unit T.
And what does ChatGPT tell us again? Please use our channel channel dot print F as an example with a PP fund. Okay, sure, that's fine. I don't care. Does it just take a string? Whatever, I'm over this. All right, so what did we do wrong now? There we go, chat. Good God, that was so hard. <laughs> Man, I need some like calming music after that. All right, so let's try running our REPL again. And we let's go grab that same example from our compiler, right? Nice. So if we paste that, oh, we forgot the flush. So that needs to be percent bang. Yeah, look at that. Hell yeah. In fact, this can just be a new line, right? And that will flush it anyways. So let's do this. And let's, let's take some screenshots for the tweet. We're gonna wrap up here. Um, we're gonna raid somebody soon. Cause these contractors should be here really any minute. Uh, so let's say we do dune exec. Did I lose? Sure. Yo, yo. Everything builds. Then let's say dune exec uh, main, and we'll paste that in. Did that not flush? 
Oh, interesting. It's because I used the wrong slash. Skill issue. It still isn't... So let's go in here. I want to make a couple more changes. Let's see if that percent bang uh, flushes for us. There we go. Yep, sweet. So next, let's say, um, I'm gonna go change the printing in our token file. So for our literals, I want to do this, just percent %s. Today I've started to learn OCaml, finally find Michael Clarkson's videos. His videos are so good. It, that's actually how I started learning OCaml too. Um, hey, did you get the job you were waiting to hear back from last week? I did, Hive Lord. I, uh, I can officially say that I will be starting at Vercel on the 20th. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. In fact, we can say, um, come in here and these can all, whatever, that's fine. Whoops, we need to go grab that function again. And we'll say dune exec main. Tell me that's not awesome chat. That's so freaking cool. All right, let's take a screenshot of that guy. We're gonna do a little tweet. Keep that done there. And then um, let's take a screenshot of our little REPL. Uh, what was it, three? Do it like there. Thank you, Ninja. Super appreciate you. Oh my God. Thank you, Ninja. Ah. Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate the support. More than you know. Well, I'm sure you know as a fellow streamer, but. Yeah. Very, very thankful and grateful for all of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's go tweet these out. Oh, 
Oh yeah, TJ stopped by chat earlier and said I'm not allowed to laugh at this meme or I'll be fired. Lol. Yeah, well, thank you for being a part of it. Thank you for all of you for being a part of it. I really think this cycle of job interviewing, um, and for the, the for those of you who came from Dev Dad's stream and are still hanging around, he was talking about this with me a little bit earlier, but I really think live streaming significantly improved how I interview because I effectively live code and speak my thoughts every morning for two to three hours. Um, so I, I think that made a huge difference and I wouldn't be doing this without the community that's built up around me streaming and meta streaming and everyone else that streams in our little community and Ninja, of course. Um, so yeah, I think y'all and this has made a huge difference. So thank you to all of you. I really appreciate it. We built a REPL for our int the programming language you build and write a compiler for in chapter one of the essentials of compilation. We built a REPL this morning for our int. The programming language you build around. We also wrote a lexer based on at tag Thorsten. Uh, writing an interpreter, inter I'm gonna spell this so wrong, inter interpreter in Go. Paul's book. That's the name of the book, right? I'm not crazy. Writing an interpreter in Go. Interpreter. Interpreter. <laughs> so we'll take um, this one, and then we'll take this one. REPL, we built a simple REPL this morning. The um, the REPL and Lexer are based nice. If anyone wants to help give me some shameless promotion on the tweet, always appreciated. But we are going to uh, go find somebody to raid. That way I can be ready for these contractors to show up. <laughs> uh, let's see here, twitch.tv, who is streaming? We got Prime, TJ, we've got Spiro, Kristoff, Yeah, let's raid Kristoff. We haven't raided Kristoff in a while. So let's do that. All right, chat. We'll be back tomorrow morning uh, around 7 a.m. Um, thank you all for hanging out. Thank you for the new follows and subs. I super appreciate all of you. Go show Kristoff some uh, OCaml love here. <laughs>